This was not requested. It's to a point where it has to be addressed. That ought to wake you up. And this sister wouldn't shut up. All about what she's learning at Gilead. She just would not shut up. Do yourself a favor. Really observe the scripture. You knew this, right? I never knew that. You don't understand. Oh, yes, we do, honey. Because in the schooling I had before being one of Jehovah's people, I could count on one hand the good teachers I had. Very few. They stunk. And I was so bored with most of them. And I'm like, give me a break, you know? And I think you're an idiot. And I didn't like being bored. You're boring. <laughs> you're cruel, too. <laughs> Uh, look at the Bible. Isn't that what Jesus did? Except the time he prayed all night? Real early in the morning. Mm. That's what it's all about. Jehovah's got the real scholars and the truth, you know. Now, don't misunderstand. Probably most of you will survive Armageddon. <laughs> See how wise Jehovah is? <laughs> uh, you can tell me later. <laughs> What's he talking about? So is this a confession? <laughs> is he afraid you're gonna... <laughs> That's rather... I got him here. Anyway, you moved, huh? We're here to share the good news of the kingdom. You're probably not interested. Even, even though things are real bad. Not interested? Yeah, I, I, I thought so. In, in our territory, I'd be observant like one fella was with my dog uh, one day. And uh, I knew he was high on crack. You know, could tell, and I could tell the way he's coming across. I don't know if you noticed, but I'm white. And our territory is mostly black. So who's the foolish one? Yep. I need more work. Sure do. We're not gonna progress. It's so crazy to think how Anthony Morris is so far out of our reach, but continues to be close to us ever so more. This guy is hilarious. And I laugh at myself as well for realizing now, years later, how this organization is just a business. A business of normal, ordinary men, uninspired, living life the best way they can. Drinking and possibly doing drugs every once in a while. I mean, does this look like a man who isn't on drugs? Now, if we think about it, we're not born as friends of God because we're born as sinful offspring of Adam. Actually, if you think about it, we're born as enemies of God. Sometimes you'll hear people say of a little baby, look at that little angel. But more accurate would be to say, look at that little enemy of God. Tony Morris is becoming a legend. The general public have recognized him far more than the governing body ever have and ever will. Give me a drink. The moment he disappeared, it was top news around the world. What is happening? Unprecedented announcement. It's been announced today, February 22nd, 2023. Nobody knew what was happening. He was just taken out of the governing body. <laughs> oh but not for Watchtower. They sent out a brief message and it became old news fast. Still to this day, not a single update video or monthly broadcast has given him any recognition. And it's funny how since he left, they did, however, upsell their message of donations and how much God appreciates those who donate. Even our young children can learn to set something aside. It's evident of how much love they have for the guy that the majority of his videos have been wiped clean off their website. Gone. There are some XJW websites that still keep copies of all his videos like AvoidJW.com. The people there have been a blessing and a half, but this specific video is given credit by an actual Bethel Pimo. In fact, his channel is called Warwick Pimo. Warwick is the headquarters of the Jehovah's Witnesses, and Pimo stands for Physically In, Mentally Out. And it's crazy how this unidentified person has made a name for himself in this XJW world. And it's because it's extremely evident that to become someone who lives, works, and studies at Bethel, it is extremely dangerous for you to be sus when you're in an environment where anyone can kick you out of the ship and you're sent to an eternal death where nobody's allowed to save you. You're excommunicated and isolated. 
And because of this, he essentially is becoming one of the greatest whistleblowers since ex-governing body member Raymond France. They forgot to tell you he was on crack and threatening my, me and my daughter-in-law. This guy is hilarious. What's really significant to me was his jewelry. He's got two gold rings, a gold watch, and I believe a golden tie clip, cufflinks, which I'm pretty sure are gold also, and maybe a bracelet on his right wrist, probably gold too. <laughs> That's enough of me for this video. Check out the full one hour video on Warwick Pimo's channel, Warwick Pimo. Till next time, this is MJ in context, and you can't make this up. You got neutral in a car. This is not a car, it's your life. It's my life. A friend of mine came with her to work in the service department for years. Fred Franz had just given a talk. I wanted to know about it. I knew he'd given it. Well, this Gilead couple are staying overnight with this couple because they invite us over. And my good friend that's there. So I started to ask him about Brother Francis talk, and I love friend Fr Fred Francis talks. And deep, I wanted to hear what he had to say. And this sister wouldn't shut up. All about what she's learning at Gilead. She just would not shut up. I know she was excited, but it's like, excuse me? It wasn't my house, and the, the host is not saying anything. I said, uh, excuse me, I'm glad you joined Gilead. It's exciting, but... Could you let him finish? Because I asked him about their friends was talking. It's starting to get later. I do want to hear it before I leave. Do you mind? Oh, all right. <laughs> so she didn't have her observation powers on. She had her mouth on. See? So I don't know whatever happened with that girl, but God help her. Uh, somehow or another, she must have learned something some way. <laughs> It's sad. Right now I have projects all the time, and I'm reading, uh, in addition to the New World Translation, three other translations. We have an example of Moses, David, Paul, you sisters, and I've learned a lot from the sisters, by the way, the anointed sisters now in heaven, as well as our sisters in scripture. You can learn a lot from women. And don't forget, a large chunk of the resurrected anointed were women at one time. So I always tease the sisters, you're not going to be able to say, you don't understand. Because <laughs> those resurrected kings are going to say, oh, yes, we do, honey. <laughs> and you better do what you've just been told to do. <laughs> See how wise Jehovah is? <laughs> yeah. I told one Bethel sister, I won't, she, she's a tuxedo. And I was telling her about, you know, these sisters and all the authority, and she goes, yes, whoa. And I said, calm down. <laughs> You're not in heaven. You didn't get any authority yet, you know? <laughs> Except in the house. <laughs> no, she's a real good girl. Oh, boy. <laughs> Hmm. It's the last time you'll make a fool out of me. <laughs> I didn't make a fool out of you. That was good research for you. You'll get over it.